as you guys can see right now I'm level 35 at level 32 I got uh, the thief ability to have better result while pickpocketing I spent something like uh, another 20,000 turns pickpocketing gremlins in this cave and uh, in order to show you what kind of items that you can get once you have this talent so the first thing that you will notice is that I have a lot of elven chainmails Generally speaking, you get more artifacts and more high value items. The only problem with this is that you will not get any potions of water. So, if you want potions of water from pickpocketing, you have to make sure you do it before level 32 if you're playing a thief. Um, so, let's see, I already had Preserver. So I found three amulets of life saving. A bunch of amulets, N nothing too special. You can pickpocket uh, braces of war, but I didn't get them, sadly. I did get a lot of other um, bracers. I already had executors, so I just brought it with me as a weapon. So again, single-handed weapon, nothing special, but then uh, the Blessed Shining Long Spear Soaker is, is a weapon that you can pickpocket. The Rune Covered Sling Whirlwind. And of course a lot of slaying ammunition, so this is why the pickpocketing talent is very good. A stack of... Uh, 25 arrows of undead slaying, 24 arrows of demon slaying, and so on. Very, very useful items indeed. Then the next thing which is special about uh, this talent is that you get a lot of writing sets. And you can use this to write scrolls of education or other scrolls. An ever burning torch which is a cute uh, utility item. Nothing overpowered but if you equip a torch then your uh, view range will also increase slightly and this can actually be quite useful. I already had the ring of the master cat of course. Um, then rings as you can see. The ring of um uh, immunity is another artifact that you can get. course some rings of genie summoning those are 10 wishes lots of rings of slaying not that useful but and a lot of ones including many ones of wishing so I already have 15 wishes now let's see how more another 5 here that's a total of 20 wishes maybe some more zero charges, that's one wish, 21 wishes another one with zero charges another one another one with five charges Wand of Death, which is also useful because it can instant kill uh, stuff like, uh, for example, ancient uh, dragons. And so, if you want to farm dragons, then uh, you can do that with a, a Wand of Death. Another Wand of Wishing, this one has three charges then potions, a lot of potions of potential whatever which is a completely useless item 
but I also got let's see the portions of gain attributes 26 uncursed potions of gain attributes 5 blessed potions so that's basically plus 30 to each attribute insanely overpowered 274 scrolls of identify so this simply points to the fact that after level 32 you will have a very good chance of finding some scrolls of identify by pickpocketing so if you really really need one you can try pickpocketing one but you'll probably find more than enough and a lot of useless crystals so I'm gonna teleport out but uh, I did not get not even a single not even a single portion of water so if you want some water to bless your your items then uh, you need to get them earlier um, I'll show how you can use Scrolls of Repair to bless an entire stack of items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create um, some Cursed and Blessed Scrolls of Repair. Then I'm gonna take the stack of, uh, in this case I'll be uh, blessing the stack of portions of uh, gain attributes because because these portions are uh, require one portion of water for each portion of gain attributes so uh, it's beneficial to just bless the entire stack so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the cursed scroll of repair and I'm gonna select the uncursed portions they are shattered then I'm gonna read the blessed scroll of repair and then the heap of uh, uncursed broken potions will be blessed so that concludes this part of the video uh, good luck and see you next time